So, I'm sitting in my living room and I'm trying to figure out what to eat. And I don't know exactly what I want, but I feel like some chicken that's both sweet and sour. Now I'm going to start out with some prep work and start breaking down my green bell peppers and get these cut down to one inch cubes and then I'm going to do the same thing with a yellow onion which should look like this. Now for the chicken you can use either chicken breast but I prefer to use boneless thighs just for that added moisture and flavor. Now once we have the chicken all cubed up, I'm going to start working on our coating. So I'm going to add a little bit of salt, some black pepper, got some garlic powder, a little Chinese cooking wine. We're also going to add a little bit of soy sauce as well, egg white, and our cornstarch. And to that we're going to add the water and then get it all mixed up and evenly coated. There's a few different ways you can do the coating for this chicken. Basically what I'm doing is incorporating a more of a thin coating of cornstarch to make that crisp outside of the chicken. But if you really want that traditional Cantonese restaurant style, you can incorporate water, flour, eggs, baking powder, and make that really thick coating around the chicken. That one's really good too. Now while our chicken is sitting, I'm going to work on our sweet and sour sauce. So start with one cup of sugar, one cup of water, about three tablespoons of white distilled vinegar, one tablespoon of ketchup, about a teaspoon of soy sauce, and about a quarter teaspoon of red food coloring, so that bright red color. I would make my sauce a little bit more red, but my daughter likes to play with food coloring at home. And lastly, we're going to add three tablespoons of cornstarch for the thickener. After you have all that, go ahead and whisk it up and get it all mixed up. All right, time for the stove. I have a wok with about an inch and a half of vegetable oil heated to about 350 degrees, and I'm going to start cooking off our coated chicken. I'm going to do several batches because we have quite a bit. So once it's fully cooked and crispy, you're going to separate it out into a colander or a bowl lined with paper towels. So that's what you're looking for right there. And I'll tell you, these things are good by themselves. Now that the chicken's all cooked off, it's time to go to our veggies. Uh, I have a separate pan, heat it up. I'm gonna add a little bit of vegetable oil. Make sure that the pan is nice and hot, because now we're gonna put in our peppers and onions. I'm gonna season it with a little bit of salt, and then saute vigorously. You don't want to cook them too much because you still want to bite to these veggies. And right about now is where I add our sweet and sour sauce mixture. And I'm going to bring that to a boil. You want to get it to a boil so you can get that cornstarch cooked off and get it nice and thick to a glaze consistency. And right here I'm going to go ahead and add in a few chunks of pineapple for some added sweetness. And then our chicken. I'm going to stir that up to get it up to temp and get all the chicken nice and coated and you are done my friend. <laughs> 